video, let us look at the procedure by which the Lepromin test is done. As I have already told you, it is intradermal and uh, there is an intradermal injection given of 0.1 ml Lepromin. Very little amount of Lepromin is injected intradermally, right. So, intradermal means within the layers of the dermis it will be injected. So, this is going to be a what kind of uh, uh, dosage. So, as you can see here, intradermal is parenteral which is a systemic uh, route of administration. So, it is an injection obviously. So, intradermal even BCG is uh, intradermal, tuberculin test is intradermal, also lepromin test is also intradermal. Continuing forward, uh, the, in the response to the lepromin antigen, there are, there are two reactions, there is a biphasic reaction, there is an early reaction of Fernandez and the late reaction of Mitsuda. So, Mitsuda refers to the late reaction mostly. So, there is an early reaction of Fernandez and uh, late reaction of Mitsuda. So, we are seeing the early reaction now, this is the early reaction of Fernandez, fine and uh, late reaction of Mitsuda we will see. Now, early reaction of Fernandez here there is erythema and induration which develops within 24 hours and it remains for around 3 to 5 days. Okay, what is there? Erythema, redness and induration will be there. Histologically, if you see the lesion will have serous exudate with lymphocytic infiltration, lot of lymphocytes would have come there. Because it is a delayed type of reaction, definitely you will expect lymphocytes. Right? Now, let us move on to the late reaction of Mitsuda. Mitsuda's reaction, uh, that is why it is called Mitsuda reaction. If they ask you, you will have to actually explain this part also. Late reaction of Mitsuda, it appears 1 to 2 weeks after the injection. So, after the early reaction of Fernandez, you will get this. It will reach a peak in 4 weeks. What you will expect here? You will see here a nodule and uh, that this nodule may even ulcerate. Okay. So, this is what you will see. It will take a few weeks to heal. The infilt uh, infiltration histologically, if you see, it will be infiltrated with lymphocytes again, epithelial sites and giant cells. Basically, a granuloma would have formed. Correct? So, if there is a positive reaction, if there is a Mitsuda reaction, definitely the person is resistant to leprosy. He can fight it. That is what it means. Okay. Revising what we learnt now. Procedure. Procedure, what points did you see? Procedure, we saw that intradermally, intradermal injection, 0.1 ml of lepromin is injected intradermally. There is a early reaction of Fernandez and there is a late reaction of, there is a late reaction of Mitsuda. Early reaction of Fernandez will start, you can see it after 24 hours. It will last for around 5 days, 3 to 5 days. What you can see here is erythema and uh, induration. In late reaction of Mitsuda, what, when will you see it? It will be after 1 week only you can see. It will last for up to 3 weeks, right? And here you will see nodule which can ulcerate. Let us check if it is 3 weeks. It will peak in 4 weeks. So, it will peak in 4 weeks. It will heal after that. Okay, few weeks to heal it will take. Fine. And if there is a positive Mitsuda reaction, it indicates that the person is. If it is positive, the person is resistant, which is good. Okay. So, here is the Mitsuda reaction.